Good evening, everyone. I am Laurie, Dr. Smith. I'm ah. Jad. Hello. So, yes, um, as you've seen in the comments, Tracy won't be joining us tonight. Um, she's had a, a, a busy day. She's been out Christmas shopping and she's been rushing around. So she did message me and say she wouldn't uh, wouldn't be joining us tonight. So um, I'm just going to put the uh, the link in there for Laurie. And as I always say, that is just for Laurie's benefit. I'll answer. <laughs> oh, I'm saying something today. Sorry. <laughs> so yeah, I have. Uh, <coughs> I have got, because I've already made one ahead, because it needs 45 minutes chill time. So this is the one that I made earlier. <laughs> Hi, Laurie. Hi, guys. Uh -huh. Oh, mine's in the fridge. <laughs> but it, 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 you're supposed to take it out at least 30 minutes before and yeah, oh. I, I just made it like quarter after three. Oh, uh, okay, okay. So I well, think I'm it sure it'll be, be all right. But what I'm going to do is, I've got the trusty gloves ready. I'm just going to break it off and roll it in balls. And um, I sound congested. I am a little bit. I've got Mr. Peter Blaine for that. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, he's feeling, lurgy. he's feeling he's feeling a lot better. <laughs> but yes, I, I do feel I, I do sound a bit congested. Um, I, I'm feeling okay. Um, yeah, I'm feeling okay. It's just you know I feel a bit you know snivelly and whatever. So um, so That's yeah. How it started. <laughs> but anyway, so we're. Uh, yeah, Chris says to me, Chris says to me earlier on, he says, he says, wow, there's a lot of ingredients. He says, well, you've got to think, um, we've got like four spices, different spices to put in it. So sort of that makes a lot of the, uh, when I made my uh, dough earlier on, um, it was tough going. I don't know whether you'll find it same, Laurie. It was really, really <laughs> thick. Yeah, I actually, after I mixed the molasses and the egg in, when I put the flour and stuff in and the, the oatmeal, I got my gloves on and got in there. Like yeah, I did. Uh, well, that's one of the reasons why I've got, I've got two pair, actually. One yeah, to I roll do. the dough rather than using an ice cream scoop. I'm just going to break pieces yeah. off it, r roll them up into balls. And, uh, yeah. Okay, okay, then, Amjad. But, but yeah. So I thought same when I were mixing it this afternoon, when I was trying to mix it with a spatula and it, it weren't having none on it. My arm felt like it were dropping <laughs> off by the time I'd done. <coughs> so, yeah, was, uh, hi, Lee, how are you? Hi. Actually, I, so, I yeah, it's, um, <laughs> the oven's on, 350 degrees. Um, in gas mark terms that's number four okay. so, yeah for a change as chris says well you should know by now that biscuits is normally round about that temperature so um almost everything so, yeah. you make around 350 rarely is well, it that's not it. um you know but it, i find as well that most of cookie recipes is uh round about that anyway yeah. so I, I can't see through my glasses chris tells me off you should do that before you go live i'm i'm too busy doing doing other things not an excuse Tell an yeah oh not yeah an yeah sorry um there it is there it is Ooh. so yeah um a friend of lee is um is a, a train enthusiast he came into the live stream last night and he's done like a promo video and he mentions both me and lee and i i, I, I were welling up <laughs> <laughs> it were it were a, 
I'll I'll get Chris to put the link in later. But it, yeah, really, really, it, it got me. You know, it, it got me really emotional about it. Yeah. Yeah, I was busy decorating last night. Oh yeah, yeah, Thank Lee, you you've got my permission to put the link into that video. It 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 were it, it really touching, you know what I mean? Um, you know. So anyway, Tracy is not joining us. Yeah, she's been she she messaged me this morning. She says I might not make it. She got to go out Christmas shopping while obviously little and weren't around. So basically, she messaged me at tea time and said. I've only just got back in. Um, I don't think I'm going to have time to do everything. So I said, don't worry about it, you know. Um, is she maybe going to stop in recording. during the live? Pardon? Is she going to stop in during the live at all? She said she was going to come in into the chat, yeah. Yeah, okay. So, um, so yeah. So, um, are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready when you're ready. <laughs> I'm just going to turn me uh, move the camera on. This I guess I'm good. ready. I've, I've had this a few weeks now, Laurie. Good price as well, about two ninety nine, and it's a stainless steel. Oh yeah. It, from own I don't have right? any. I don't have any like that. I just I have. I oh, like my really? glass ones. I like to stick to the plastic ones. Yeah, that's that what I mean. That, right I thought, well, it's quite a big one. Um, yeah. Price work too bad either. I don't know whether you've got it in the US. They uh, own bargains. Yeah. Uh, we have those. I've never thought about buying them, though. I don't know why. But I mean, me, me neither. But um, I, I like my glass ones a lot. And well, you I see, think... that's where I have a problem with the glass. I've got a, a, a really big glass one. And then one yeah. a bit smaller, but I find it too heavy for me hands, and I struggle a lot. Uh, with yeah. So yeah. yeah. So yeah, first yeah, of heavy. all, we're going to do the like oat flour, all this spice mixture first. So I'm going to do the uh, the flour, which is one and two thirds of a cup of all-purpose flour or 210 grams <laughs> there's mine <laughs> you're doing the flour first because i was going to okay yeah because you put your flour in your oats and all your spices and then put that to one side when you oh yeah okay i got mine yeah. set aside already so yeah two cups or 160 grams of old-fashioned whole rolled oat but you have to do them in a food processor so they mix a mixture of like a sandy and a, some whole bits. So I've you seen me using my food processor. processor. I almost forgot how to use it. I got so frustrated because I don't use it that uh, much. <laughs> I was like, so really? Yeah. Right, into this. I'm looking for baking soda. Yeah, uh, that's the link to that promotion thing. Anyway, into this, you want one teaspoon of baking soda. So now we're going to go on to spices. Now they all look similar, so I don't know what's what. <laughs> I think this is um, ginger, two teaspoons, the ground ginger. Lots of ingredients. I was surprised by the list of ingredients. Yeah, Chris said uh, there were a lot of ingredients. Now, this is a quarter of a teaspoon of cloves. One and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. Mm. 
and half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. So basically all you do is just mix all this together. Oh, and salt, of course, but we don't use salt, so. So, yeah, so you just want to uh, give this a good old mix. We're down to three. Where's everybody going? <laughs> oh, well. So, yeah, so you want to give this a good old mix so all your spices and everything's... Uh, let me just bring that a little bit closer so you can see. That's it. So, yeah, so this is all, you know, your oats, your flour and everything all being mixed together. So now we'll put that to one side. I've got two baking sheets uh, greased. Yeah. You didn't use paper today? Pardon? Did you use parchment paper? Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, so now we're going to go on to the um sort of what they call wet ingredients. So you want one cup or two hundred grams of it says either dark brown sugar or packed light brown sugar i'm using light brown sugar so am i <laughs> oops we have Dr. Smith. oh there's somebody else oh into this you need a quarter of a cup or 50 grams of um granulated sugar so that's going in And to this, we're going to add 170 grams or three quarters of a cup of butter. So that's that going in. It's, it's not really all that complicated. It's just that, you know, it's swapping so from here, there, and... <laughs> oh. oh, sugar. I pressed out. wrong button and my things fell out. <laughs> 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 oh, sugar, she says. Yeah. <laughs> I know what you meant. I know yeah, what you I mean. pressed wrong button and it, it, it ejected my beaters. So, uh, so yeah, so now we're going to um, beat this for about two minutes. Yeah. <sighs> Last two minutes. Is it? Last night. Ooh. Ooh. What did you make, Asgard? Yeah, Ooh. what did you make, Asgard? You <laughs> <laughs> Into this, you need a large egg. Bing. And a quarter of a cup or 60 mils of dark molasses well in here in, in here in the uk we call them 
um, black treacle. I wondered for years what molasses were and I'm thinking to myself, you've been a baker for all this time, Jeanette, and never realised black treacle. Uh -huh. <laughs> so yeah, the, the, the penny finally dropped. After how many years? I've seen all these recipes with molasses, I'm thinking. Well, I've never actually seen molasses in, 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 in huh. you know, in, in store. Really? And it went honey graham crumb crust, a layer of vanilla ice cream, layer of lemon cake. Ooh, that sounds nice. I'll tell you something, it's tricky stuff to work with this is. Uh, Yeah, in its own good time. Honey graham crumbs crust, a layer of vanilla ice cream, a layer of lemon curd, and whipped cream. Yummy. That sounds good. I don't think I'm going to get any more out of that. So, yeah. Um... Now we're going to mix this, um, and you, you know you've got to obviously mix it to combine it. Oh no! That one is a dog. As you can probably guess, this is sort of the bit that we've already sort of done in, in advance, the calf. Once you've actually made the dough, it needs like 45 minutes um, chill time. So, so we're sort of not waiting about. We decided to um, um, make a head. It's going to be nice to have two batches of these. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> but it does say as well, they're easily freezable. It's, yeah. It does say to make the ball, them into balls before you freeze them. So so into this, we've got to put the, uh, the flour and oat mixture. Oh, now I'm just sticking out. Yep, here comes the hard part. <laughs> uh, what's in the back of the arm? I don't know why that happened. So yeah, is I'm gonna start mixing with me mixer to get majority of it um yeah, incorporated. But it does get a bit tricky towards the end because it is very thick. So yeah, so I've, I've done biggest majority of it with the um, with the mixer. I'm just going have, to. Uh, have you ever made gingerbread cookies? Cut out gingerbread cookies before, yeah. Jeanette. Yeah. Talk about hard to mix, huh? 
Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. So I'm Here just going to hold this on me. So yeah, I did find it very hard going earlier on. I love my gloves. <laughs> so So what you have to do now guys is once that's mixed because it is like a sticky mixture you have to put it pop it in the fridge for at least 45 minutes now that's why Laura and myself of both made some this afternoon so yeah so we have we have sort of you know forward thinking um So, you know, so we're not messing about. Baby, will you uh, put that in the fridge for me now, please? <coughs> but it is, it is sticky stuff. On me. So, yeah, so that now goes in the fridge. It, for 45 minutes... You can, you don't, you know, you don't have to take it out after 45 minutes. You can leave it in your fridge for up to five days. So, yeah, so. Here's one I made earlier, look. So, yeah, so this has been in the fridge. It does say. The longer you leave it in the fridge, you have to take it out at least. 30 minutes before you use it because it will be hard so i'm going to do uh, i'm going to do a laura special and instead of using the um ice cream scoop method i'm just going to break bits off it um with my hands and pop it on a baking tray so <laughs> And obviously, because I'm putting my hands in bowl and I'm handling it, um, that's why we, that's why we wear gloves. So, uh, so yeah. About that size. Where are we? There we are. Yeah, that looks all right to me, Laurie. That's pretty good size, I so think. It, it supposedly makes thirty, but that remains. Thirty. Well, we'll see about that, oh, huh? <laughs> so, yeah, rather than messing about with an ice cream scoop, I'm just going to roll them into balls. Just say, place them three centimetres apart. There's no need to flatten them or anything. Nah. If, like me and Laurie, um... The, the, the ones that we've just made if you're not going to bake them straight away you can freeze them it says for up to three months but it says to roll them in balls before you freeze them and when you do bake them you put them straight in oven you don't need to defrost so there you go that's just a uh, a little snippet of information for you so if you're going to freeze them you, you roll them into balls first put them in whatever you're going to put them in and there's no need to defrost you can put them straight in oven from um without defrosting them oh lee says i'm here but working on a build on the workbench oh but lay out Okie dokie, Lee. Well, 
this is when it's nice to have kids around. You can have them roll, the, <laughs> roll out the cookies. Yeah, pull to it. <laughs> yeah, then we don't have to do it, right? That's it. I stuffed another turkey today. <laughs> uh, I've been busy all day. We didn't have enough on Thanksgiving, so we're having it again. Uh, because our the turkey was gone that day, you know, at dinner time. It was like, oh no, gotta have leftovers. Chris says breakfast sorted out for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm making these. I hope I'm not making them too big. I guess we'll find out when by the time we're done rolling. You, know, you can never you can never roll them too big, Glory. <laughs> we got a better. <laughs> what? Hey, babe. Wait, quick, quick, quick. No, 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 no. That's <laughs> too bad. <late. laughs> what did you do? <laughs> I dropped one up floor and biscuit with air and I oh, no. Chris, quick, quick, quick. Too late. It, it, it were. That's yours. No. Yeah. Uh, Minus one. So, yeah. It flew out my hand. <coughs> you oh, good dear. dogs. No uh, for you. <laughs> the same as Chris says, I mean, you know, you don't know what it's gonna do to him with having all these spices in and molasses and, and all sorts. Yeah. Uh too much information, do you? Definitely takes more time getting prepared than it does to make them. It does, it does. But uh, same as our sister yeah, Chris it. says, I know sort of, I'm making two lots, but I don't think you'll go to waste, to be quite honest with you. Oh, no, they won't hear either. I have a feeling that my husband's going to really like these too. I made him them chocolate so ones I've the got other day. So I've 12 on one. Yep, Let's I see how many too. we can get on here. I got 12 on one. So yeah, so I've got I've got 12 on my first one. It's I don't know about you, Laurie, but I, it, it's a lot better doing it like this than it is. It um, is. It with is. The, with the with the ice cream scoop. Yeah. I tried with the scoop. Easier. It just sticks in the scoop. So, yeah, you know, I mean, the thing is, like me and both, Laurie and both me, myself have said, we've always got these gloves anyway. So, yeah. you know, it's uh, it saves a lot of uh, messing about. Um, I need them for everything. You see, yeah, it's, you know, mixing and... Um, you know, it does say like uh, uh, about what does it say about taste? Tablespoon and a half for, or teaspoon? Oh, I don't know. Uh, one and a half tablespoons of dough. So, uh, but I mean, I, I sort of never got to that. I just do all my, you know. If they're too small, Chris will say, they're not big enough. One mouthful and they're gone, you know what I mean? Then you tell Chris to get out in the kitchen and make so, some. <laughs> it's, a case, it's a case of you've got to come to an upper medium. You don't want them too small, but then again, you right. don't want them too big that they're going to gonna spread all over the place, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's what I worry. That's why I'm thinking they might be too big. So you that have to sort of... Gauge a happy medium, so to speak. <laughs> but it's um, Lee says looking good. Thanks, Lee. <laughs> so, but 
I think they'll taste really even, good. I, I, I think I think they'll taste even better with the icing on as well. Oh yeah. Um, I'm just gonna use icing, sugar, milk, and vanilla. I'm not gonna put any spices in the uh, in the icing. I think it's gonna be a bit too much. Yeah. So, uh, Plus in the recipe, they also topped it, put it on top of the cookie too. That would be unbelievable. Yeah, I, that, that's what I was thinking when I was reading the recipe. I thought, yeah, well, you've like, got wow. like four different spices actually in the cookie. Yeah. Then it tells you to put it in the icing. Um, you know, it's going to be like spice overload. You know what I mean? yeah and that's why i said i've decided well, when you, not to when you have molasses when you use molasses and cloves if you have too much of the spice it's going to make it's actually going to make your mouth burn too yeah yeah so i mean while while a lot of people say oh well i like spicy stuff this like spicy and then this black spice overload if you know what i mean yeah not oh you put not a chance <laughs> it's all right at least put save me some you you must be joking <laughs> i was gonna say you should know by now that yeah very really anyway <laughs> man's made 25 so obviously i've made man a bit bigger than what yeah i'm taking know. i'm just going back and i'm taking a little off a few that i think i made too big because i i got the same yeah. so i was think i was thinking like you you know <laughs> uh so yeah so that's um that's that done now so if you want to put <coughs> my idea of course my dear I'm your yeah. So yeah, these need between 12 and 13 minutes. So I've just put them on for the 12, and then we can sort of gauge yeah, gauge from there. Once uh, Chris goes in and checks in on in on them after 12 minutes. So yeah, man's made about 25. Yeah. That's, that's good 25. enough. <laughs> good enough uh so what i'm gonna do while i've got camera facing down is uh, hang on oh, where? I, I got up, up on something uh hang on yeah i've gone gone for 12 minutes yeah right So yeah, I've, I've gone 11 minutes. So what I'm going to do is while the camera's um, facing down is I'm just going to sift my, sugar, uh, my icing sugar because I need to have time to sift it earlier on. So th this is basically for your icing and that is one and a half cups or 180 grams of sifted confectioner's sugar otherwise known as icing sugar oh i've got off on it down me no uh, I did put a little bit of cinnamon on oh, my yeah. sugar. I yeah. want in your icing. Uh, yeah. And, and 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 if you're wondering why we're sifting it, it's because it mixes a lot better the finer <laughs> the, the powder is. So if I 
Tracy. Oh, Hi, Tracy. So, yeah, we're just sifting this icing sugar while we've got the uh, cameras aiming down. We're not going to do the icing just yet because um, <coughs> we've only just gone in oven. Man made. Did you make the same amount then, Laurie? Man made 25. I'm sorry, what was that? I says, how many did yours make? 25. Oh, yeah. Laurie's. She must have been thinking on the same wavelength as what I were. Yeah. But you know, you, you know what I always say, you know, same as Chris says, you don't want them that small that one mouthful and they're gone. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you need something that you, you can get your teeth into, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you want a cookie, you don't want a pebble. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's okay, Tracy. So. What? Yeah, well, she means probably after. Oh, dear, do you know? You can't take him anyway. I know you've been poorly and everything, but hey, gee whiz. Yeah, right. <laughs> you see, this is the problem I have. As soon as I get any snivels or anything, it goes straight on my chest. So that's why I'm yeah. a bit, I sound a bit contested. I haven't got a well, cold per se, you know what I mean, but I, I've always had problems with my chest. Yeah, well, let's hope that you uh, bypass the cold part. <laughs> Hi, a dirt rider. Hi, a dirt rider. <laughs> oh, dear. It says... Are you willing to take me back, Jeanette? <laughs> I did not, Ryan. What are you talking about? She threw me <laughs> under the bus. It's, he's it's talking about the wrong I'm Rory. giving him a hard time about it, Rory. He's, he's talking about uh, the wrong uh, Rory. <laughs> but, yeah, it, it, it's basically, I called him out because I says I don't play second fiddle to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to do the same as Laurie. I'm going to mix me. Uh, this is, into this you've got to put. It's uh, thick. A quarter of a teaspoon of, of, of vanilla. Now I've got this tea tablespoon because it says. Oh, thank you, Dr. Smith. Yeah, it's creeping again. It, it says only add. A tablespoon at a time of milk till you get it to the consistency that you want it. <coughs> so only I'm just gonna do and that. No, it says no it. more than two, which yeah. I added exactly uh, two. So I'm sort of just gonna play it by ear and see how we go with this um this is two tablespoons right here pretty yeah. thick pretty thick um what we're gonna say well oh, that's something i want one of them long spoons so i can drink when they cool so i can drizzle it's all right that i'm always forgetting something what what is it blaming me for now? <laughs> oh. All right, talk to cat. Oh. It'll survive. Don't want me, Laurie. Don't want me. 
Who do you think Tracy would want me? Well, it's not a very good way to get back in me, in my good book. Put it this way, dirt riding. <laughs> Who said they didn't want you, dirt rider? Now, come on. I want a thing as well, don't tell us about you. I mean, I get to that. Yeah. So, He's yeah, so. Uh, for himself, yeah. He's feeling sorry for himself. <laughs> so yeah, so we've we've made the icing already. How much milk did you use? Two, exactly. Two? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It says it's supposed to be thick. That's pretty thick. I don't I, I don't think it wants any more in put it that way. I, yeah. think it's just, I think it's just right consistency, the soul. So I'm just sort of keep whisking this because you want it a smooth consistency because once your cookies are cooled down, it does say you can either dip them in the icing or you can drizzle it on the, on the cookies. So I, I'm just going to drizzle mine. Yeah, me too. I think dipping, you'd have to sit here and hold the cookie over the frosting for it to all run off. Well, and... this is it and then you're going to get all like crumbs in your frosting and it's right. such you may as well just put it put a, a teaspoon of frosting on each uh cookie and then then it's done then isn't it <laughs> so that's that done i won't even use that much probably yeah. on each one i try to go stay kind of light on the frosting my husband's already fat enough <laughs> He's only allowed a little bit. Uh, <laughs> but it's um, as a baker, it's it's like this. When when you, yeah, I suppose you could pipe it, but it's dirty, more dishes, isn't it? Really, Tracy. Right. You know, yeah, you know what I mean. It, it's we. If you just drizzle it on, you use a spoon and that's it. Yeah. yeah. I'm done with that piping business. I'm not doing that for anything. I'll find another it's, way. I'm um, not piping anymore. It's it's there again. It's down to each individual. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's no rules that say you, you can't pipe it. But it does. It like in the recipe, it says either dip or drizzle. Yeah. But you don't have to go specifically to the recipe that's the good thing about baking well if we keep up like this i'm not going to have to be baking a whole lot for christmas because <laughs> uh, we'll have enough by then <laughs> uh, my daughter got a hold of me before, was asking me for all kinds of recipes and i said good you guys do the uh, baking i've so. actually because there there's been a lot of people asking me about a yule log now oh i was sort of debating because i don't have like a swiss roll tin or mat and somebody says well you don't need one all you need really is pot marking uh, baking parchment so oh, yeah I, I've, I've downloaded one but i'm still sort of a bit on the Fence at the moment what is it i mean i i've never yeah um it's basically a chocolate swiss roll covered in chocolate oh, cream. oh yummy that sounds good. and all, all basically all you do is you know similar to the uh tray that we've put the cookies on but a little bit yeah. deeper yeah you, you make the swiss roll but from what I've been reading, before it cools down, you basically put it on a piece of baking parchment and you roll it because it's more flexible because it's still warm. Right. And that sort of makes it easier when you come to put in the filling in to roll it a second time. If oh, I see. Sense. Okay. Uh, oh, pecan oh, rolls, yeah. Dr. Smith. I love pecan rolls. I would love to make some of those. I, I was actually I making recipes for pecan rolls last week. I'll tell you something else that I've printed out as well. 
lemon sticky buns and they like cinnamon rolls but we like a lemon drizzle like a lemon icing on oh, really oh i'll send you a recipe if i remember after they okay. look absolutely but they contain yogurt so i don't know i'm a bit oh, oh. Now, nah. sorry that's my timer i think pecan rolls would be an excellent thing to make but it's like it's it's down to individual again because Chris and Callum aren't a, aren't fond of any type of nuts, if that makes sense. Oh my my my! Oh my! Oh, I'm just oh they look nice, Laurie. Oh, they came out real nice. <laughs> Chris says I'm a big top tray. <laughs> and they smell. Good. I'm glad said his, his shampoo. But yeah, look at him choosing. He says he says I'm having that tray. He says because they're bigger on that one. A couple of them went together, but that's okay. They'll pull apart. Um, I've been quite lucky. I've only got a few. It's uh. And the ones that went together were, like you said, were the big ones. They, I think they've just baked to perfection, myself. Well, the perfectionist has baked them. Yeah, so I'm I'm just going to... I'll move that out of the way, and I'll show you guys. Oh, ah. the, uh, the, the, the bar. Mm. Sliding up. Now look at them, aren't they nice? They look nice. So that's the other tray. Look, Ooh, tried to turn it round. That's the other one. So yeah. Um, yes, they yeah. look awesome. Oh, I tell you something. I wish we'd got smell vision because don't you oh, think? I know. Oh, the smell. Know. They smell like gingerbread cookies. But the oatmeal is going to make them extra special. The um, the <laughs> smell is absolutely phenomenal, and I don't just say that lightly because I've baked it. <laughs> I think Laurie will agree with me. You can oh, smell, definitely. you can smell all the spices and everything. Oh, yummy, yummy! Oh my god! They gosh. do. They, they smell absolutely delicious. Yeah, maybe we ought to just have cookies for supper tonight. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Did you know what Laurie just said? Hubby's gonna like these. I think Hubby's really gonna like these. For supper tonight. Uh, oh, you are. So yeah, I'm just gonna. Laurie, <laughs> you gotta say it. Say it, Bob. You greedy beggar. <laughs> what do you say? Did you hear that, Laurie? What do you say? I'm keeping it in the shed. I want some cookies. Yeah. Um, <laughs> hi, Kevin. How are you? Hi, Kevin. But. I can't really show you much now, but I've separated them and they're like crunchy on outside, but they have it so soft and gooey in the middle. I wish that I could show you one on camera. Do you see that? Oh, yeah. I've been so with I've the baker on that since I met you. Uh, quite the baker. So yeah. That that one's. Uh, I'll have that one being as I broke it. <laughs> so yeah. So the dirt. I was just trying to show you that type of cookie that they are. I think they'd be they're good like, even without the frosting. The, the, the crusty on our side, but soft, grew, 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 gruey. What's gruey? Soft, gooey yeah. on inside. Yeah. <laughs> and the yeah. recipe also said when you bake them. Chris had that one, that one that I broke. <laughs> well, Doug nearly had one, Tracy. Our rolling balls. <laughs> 
like this with my gloves on <laughs> and it flew out my hand and it went top floor and, and biscuit were ready to pass and I kept saying, Chris, Chris, <laughs> who have it? <sighs> well, you know, it's not going to hurt a human being. You don't know what it's going to do to a dog, do you? <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, no, so, yeah. Um, Have a good night, Amjad. I would have had 26. Have fun tomorrow. See you later, Amjad. Right, Amjad. You, do, you do know, Amjad, you can message me anytime you like. Um. So, yeah. Um. But, yeah, it's... Uh, I would have had 26, wouldn't I? Because one of them rolled on floor. Yeah, yours rolled on floor. Yeah, right. That's yours. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you keep thinking that one. Oh, I agree with that, Chris. Bob's <laughs> taste tester. That means I can demand or say. What gave you that what? impression, you chief taste tester? I am. <laughs> 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 his I don't know where he got that one from, Laura. Do you? Did you, did you not read the five tweet when we got married with us? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna love these. They're gonna be so good. Yeah. How many cookies you can have? You could eat these even without the frosting, and they would be delicious. Yeah, I, I reckon you can because they, they smell absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, I, I, no I doubt just about wish it. you guys could smell it. the the aroma of the spices and and everything. It's yeah. Well, you know, you would think I am a little bit. Pardon? You would think with all you would think with all this uh, electronics and stuff that the least they could do is come up with smell a vision. <laughs> you know? They can do anything else. Why can't they come up with smell a vision? <laughs> Why can't I don't have any? What? What don't have any imagination? <laughs> but yeah, Kevin, in, in the years, <coughs> this nutmeg cinnamon ginger and cloves now you imagine that smell yum yum and yum now the baked i can't i don't have any <laughs> cookies uh well you know what to do uh look at those man. they came out nice get your mistress on 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 the case They'll be even it's relatively with easy there is there is sort of um a little bit of faff about them um you know you have to mix all, mix all your dry ingredients and your spices and everything <coughs> and then you have to mix you know mix your batter but it's pretty simple don't you don't you think uh laura i yeah i like i said i think it was more work just getting all the ingredients together i think it was uh, much easier just to make the cookies it's too bad you can't already buy the ingredients already done <laughs> 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 but I mean, it's like me because it, has, it it calls for room temperature butter. I always do mine in the afternoon, and once it's done, it's done. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I do too. Like, uh, what once I'd mixed the first mixture, I went on to weigh my ingredients for tonight. I actually take my butter out the night before, and I just cover it up with saran wrap oh so that you know because it, it's not like super warm in my kitchen so i want to make sure that it is I soft made enough chocolate. tracy says she made a ch chocolate cheesecake last night Just oh about piece. so what yeah you know, <laughs> um Could push me uh, laptop back a little bit because this You're is not frost sitting already? right here. And... Hey, no, I'm just this is second lot. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, I, 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 yeah, they they are slightly smaller than the first lot, but hey ho. 
Mine all came out the same size, believe it or not. But that's because uh, I, picked, I picked that a couple of them after, after we got them all on the pans, and I picked at them and kind of made sure that they were the same size. <laughs> now Chris is going to yell at you because you got some smaller ones there. He's going to make you eat the yeah. small ones and keep the big ones See, for the, himself. The, the, second, the second lot I did, I, I started doing them a bit smaller. So I'm just sort of transferring them onto this. Uh... I have to find a container to put these in. <laughs> uh, uh, I ain't got a shortage of containers. I've got tons of them. I want to do this because. Um... Hey, Hunter, are you going downstairs for anything? No. Darn it. I want them to cool down a bit quicker. Hi, Gordo. Hi, Gordo. Thank yeah, you, Lee. So, uh, yes, they, they almost look edible, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> but like when I do baking, Callum will say, What are you baking tonight? Oh, I'm I'm doing I'm doing some cookies. Um and then when, when it comes down afterwards, you'll say, Have a try one. Yeah. What? I'm just saying about Callum when it comes down. Uh, down. down. So I'm, I'm sort of just transferring them onto the baking sheet. So it would make some easier to make <laughs> I had it, had it up here not too long ago. So, yeah, good thing about it is, though, Laurie, because we've made two lots, um, yeah, I might be making them again tomorrow. Well, baking again. Tomorrow. You did say we could freeze the dough, right? Yeah, yeah. I think I'm going to freeze the second batch because this is a lot of cookies for like just for me and my husband. Way too many. So I'll freeze it, the second it, it batch. Does, it it does it. say that if you're going to freeze them, it's probably best to, you know, roll the dough into balls. Oh, oh, really? But I suppose. Oh yeah, that's the video that that Gus did. Yeah, yeah, it took up a lot of space in the freezer. It says make ahead freezing instructions. You can make the cookie dough and chill it in the refrigerator for up to four days. Allow to come to room temperature, then continue with step five. Baked cookies with or without icing freeze well for up to three months. Unbaked cookie dough balls freeze well for up to three months. Bake from frozen cookie, bake frozen cookie dough balls for an extra minute. No need to thaw. Click here for any tips and tricks on freezing cookie dough. So, um, so yeah, I mean, it's 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 up to. Yeah, maybe you know, I'll do that. Like, maybe I'll just make the balls and put them in a Ziploc bag and put them in the freezer downstairs. Yeah, there's room down it. there, I think. I hope. <laughs> so I think I'm going to make a start on the um, ice in mine because my because I took them off. Mine the are still warm. Um, I'm going to see how we go. Um, so basically, I'm just going to pour a bit of this on a spoon and drizzle it on. Now we'll see how we go with this. Yeah, I'll watch you first. <laughs> I think mine are still a little warm, so I don't know if I should or not. I can at least do one, see what happens. Wow, that's thick. It is. But this is way, way easier than sort of dipping them in, in it. I think it, 
Yeah. Well, like said, right, I think we'd be in the right pickle if we were to. If you're dip dipping it. in it, then like you said, um, you're going to get all the crumbs. Oh, they look so yummy. <laughs> that was a lot on that one. Uh... Yeah, could you imagine trying to dip these? Because I don't, I think that the a lot of it would stick to the cookie. Yeah. And then, you know, you wouldn't be able to get the excess off. Well, this, in retrospect, is just the easiest option, I think. Oops. Simplest and easiest, to be quite honest. Mm -hmm. And I'm not even going to do sprinkles today. Uh, I got so used to using sprinkles. I was like, wow, should I get sprinkles out? Nah, not today. <laughs> no fairness, I don't think you really need them. No sprinkles? What are you about? Uh, no, no, no sprinkles. <laughs> Talk to your wife, Chris. I'm not uh, I'm sprinkles. <laughs> Oh, don't they look nice? Wow. Yeah, I've just thought I'm, I'm decorating mine and I ain't even put my other camera on. Uh, <laughs> and I didn't away. have mine. I wasn't had mine up right away either. I was like, oops. I wonder, why, I wonder why you have to put it on. Yeah, again, that carried away. <laughs> I forgot all about it. You didn't want anyone to see, did you, Jeanette? Uh -huh. <laughs> wow, it's hard to get some off the spoon there. There we go. So there's one pan. I've nearly done my first lot. I'm going to go it. for the second one. Yeah. Mm. yeah, I'm glad I put the cinnamon in the frosting. I just got a taste of it. It's not too bad. I just put very little, though. So, yeah, so that's my first lot that's uh, iced. I'll bring that across so you can just move this. I'll just get them all in and keep them in your mouth. No. Invest in an invalometer. What's yeah, one of them? Oh. Sometimes I use it. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Uh, you know, the button that you press to take a picture. Oh, yeah. It's that, but like in your hand. Oh. You've had one of them fridges, haven't you? Mm. It's all right with the talking photography. <laughs> Chris hasn't tried to steal any yet? No. <laughs> we know we didn't. Don't tip me, Laura. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> Don't you encourage him? Uh... So 
all right if i'm quiet guys i'm concentrating <laughs> Don't interrupt yeah. yourself. Yeah. <laughs> While this is the easiest bit, it's the very the trickiest bit. Yeah, just slap it on there. Uh. <laughs> That's basically what I'm doing. I'm just slapping it on. Letters, so I could spell his name out. <laughs> no, I'm not fuffing about doing that. <laughs> no, and you want it, you can do it. Done, 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 done. I've not got many left, Laura, to ice. Very nice recipe. I would recommend that to anyone. Yeah. It I is. really would. It's very nice. Yeah. And it's great for a holiday cookie. I mean, it's gingerbread, oatmeal together. I mean, you can't beat it. No, I agree with you 100% there, Laurie. And that was really, a, you know, I wasn't too sure about the oatmeal at first about grinding it, but yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. But the thing is, it's like you've got to try these things, haven't you, if you know what I mean? Yeah. And I thought exactly the same when I saw the recipe. I thought, oh, that would be a nice um, recipe, like a Christmas recipe. You know it what is. I mean? It's perfect. Anybody would love those. If they don't, they're nuts. Yeah. <laughs> The only person that wouldn't like them would be someone that doesn't like gingerbread. Yeah. <clears throat> if they don't like gingerbread, they wouldn't like them. It's, um, <coughs> it's the sort of recipe where you wouldn't think of making it as, um, as like a Christmas cookie, would you? Right. You know so what I mean? Yeah. Even though, it's it is very much a christmas cookie yeah it is no one so, last but last, not least lucky yeah. last <laughs> So then we just leave these sit out a little bit and let the frost. Yeah, sit. just just let icing firm up. Yeah. But mm. I think in all honesty, the icing is that thick it shouldn't take long to set anyway. Yeah. I've virtually used all my icing up. Well, I've got one there that looks like a skull and crossbones. <laughs> I didn't do it intentionally. <laughs> I have some spooky eyes right here. Spooky eyes. So yeah, I've only sort of just noticed it looking, looking yeah. at it, and it, it looks like a skull and crossbones. Yeah, I use most of my icing. I still have a little left, but I don't normally use all of it. it but the good thing up. is about that, the good thing we sort of like is one I made earlier. You've you've got if if these go down well, you've got a second batch ready to just bake right if, if that makes sense yeah i don't think mine will have time to go in freezer <laughs> these will probably all be gone tomorrow and chris will say get them others in oven well i think once my husband tries one of these he'd probably sit and eat five or six at one time uh you could too <laughs> But yeah, the other ones I might just put up in the freezer and, and save them for around the, uh, Christmas. That, that's the one that looks like a skull and crossbones look. Yeah, it sure does. <laughs> and, and it went intentional. Oh, my gosh. Uh, you seen it? Yeah. <laughs> I, I only noticed it as I was sort of like, I'm thinking, nah, which ones can afford to have a bit more icing on them? You know what I mean? <laughs> that looks like a skull and crossbones, that does. <laughs> so yeah uh, 
Uh, it's too bad Tracy didn't make these with us tonight. Did Chris, did you do the taste test yet? No, but Biscuit nearly did. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear me. But yeah, it's um it's one of these recipes that are simple yet effective. If oh yeah. Sense. Um, you know, I can't wait to try one of these. I don't think Chris will be able to um resist. Well, don't you worry, as soon as it's getting shut closed down stream, I'm having one. So, so yeah, I don't think you'll be able to resist uh, much longer. <laughs> well, he needs so, to try one so he can tell everybody how they are. I'm not well, eating one, but not before dinner. <laughs> I don't even know where that bro broken one is now. I think it's on this one. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, as always, um, the... Uh, the recipe is in in the description including cooking times freezing and everything um so yeah simple but i'm sure they're going to be delicious yeah um, no doubt you, know, the, 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 you can't express to anybody what they smell like you've got <sighs> to be here to you know um yeah the the smell of the spices and everything it's out this world i can't sort of emphasize enough the gorgeous smell can you imagine all that smelling of that spice smell and you know what i mean yeah so but yeah i think i think i might bake the other ones off tomorrow it's only a matter of making some more icing isn't it really yeah whacking them on on baking trays and you know 12 minutes they're done um and just whip up a, a batch of um another batch of our icing so yeah so yeah that'd be for us in one city I think man's so. uh man's set anyway because well i don't mean icing but it sound quite odd if that makes sense but <laughs> the idea of this is they are and crunchy on outside, but soft and gooey in the middle. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, you certainly yeah, don't want to over bake them either. You want to just do it the yeah, time that, it that's because... it. Yeah, that's it. You, you know, the, that's one emphasis that you don't want to over bake them and make them like rock cakes. Right. You want them nice and soft in the yeah. So it, it's it's like when you're making brownies as well they're meant to set but they're supposed to be gooey and the, the longer you leave them to cool down um you know that's what makes them set it's 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 the science behind baking isn't it if you know what i mean yeah so well once again laurie uh, i hope you've had a good stream and i hope you'll spend enjoys the cookies thank you um, i think well, it's one of the shortest we've only been going just over an hour yeah so um i'll let you know in due course what we're making next week i did want to make it um the uh yeah caramel <laughs> gingerbread cookie bars i i've really wanted to make that so i think i might make that next week. so so yeah so yeah i'm just doing the it's not self-promotion don't forget chris's <laughs> That's the yes. two dozen. It only made 25 birds. So, um, yeah. Christmas live tomorrow, 9 pm our time. <coughs> um, if, if you sorry, sorry, sorry about the dog, <laughs> it, 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 it wasn't to start it last week, yeah. or, but um, so uh, I'm sorry, you know, <laughs> well, so he, he says, I want to get to he's been coughing and everything so he um hey. gonna go live tomorrow so i'll see you all on the next one guys thank you laura for joining thank me thank you for having me have a good and, night everybody uh, i'll see you bye. later guys bye <laughs>
Let's see you, Tracy. Thank you.